Hi, my name is Rishi and we're going to talk about 802D videos. Uh, it's a, a Siemens control. And in this video, we're going to talk about uh, how to set work offset. When you turn on the machine, the screen is going to look something like this. It's in the machine operating area. In order to uh, set the work offset, you have to hit a key called offset parameters. Out of these six keys, you can see the top right key is offset parameter. If you hit the key, it's going to take you to the screen like this, <clears throat> where we have a base and all other work coordinate system, J5455, so on and so forth. So <clears throat> if you know exactly the, uh, the position values of your work coordinate system, you can directly enter in these columns and set your XYZ uh, values for that specific coordinate system. For example, I, if I want to set uh, my work coordinate system as G54, G55, I simply go to the keypad and enter my values, say in my case it's a 50. I enter that and input which is as good as enter. And you can see in the screen our G55 X value is 50 then I have to scroll to the next column and this is a Y value which I'm going to set say 100 input and you can see it's effective uh, 100 similarly for Z axis I scroll to the right and set it say 120 input and now you can see our G55 set for X50, Y100 and Z120 in order to check these values in effect you have to activate this change by hitting this soft key called activate change and now my <coughs> values are act activated all I have to do is uh, call in the G55 in my program and that will be my work coordinate system. <coughs> Excuse me. The, another way of doing it is uh, by measuring workpiece. Say if you don't know uh, your exact position of work coordinate system then best way is by doing measuring wor workpiece. For that uh, we have to select which coordinate system you want to set. In our case, we'll go to the G56. So scroll down, scroll left, and that's where I start G56 X. And then I have to hit a soft key called Major Workpiece. If I hit this key, it takes me to the machine operating area, and it's a small graphics of a workpiece, tool, and a coordinate system. There's a information about the tool, the direction, and what coordinate system I want to set. So first, you have to enter uh, what what kind of tool it is. You can find that in your um, tool data, if it is a milling tool or drilling tool or uh, whatever. So in our case, say I have a drilling tool, and the tool number is 10. So I enter that in the keypad. 10, enter, and you can see. Uh, tool number 10 and it took all the values from the tool data the diameter and length and etc so that is an effect then I choose my <coughs> coordinate system here you can choose whichever we want we already have G54 and G55 set that's why we are going for G56 I scroll down there and select it so it selected a G56 or coordinate system. Now <clears throat> I have to select which side of the workpiece is my tool. Accordingly I have to jog my tool and scratch it on uh, workpiece. See if the tool is on the right side or the positive side of workpiece I have to select positive here. If it's on negative side I have to select I have to go to this screen and select negative. And accordingly, you can see the changes in the graphics also. So you have to select the right direction 
and after that you have to start jog you can see if I start jogging it shows that the, the tool is moving towards workpiece and whenever it, it scratches workpiece that's my uh, value for that axis in our case it's a uh, x-axis so this is my value all I had to do is set work offset and it takes that value and the tool data in effect and that that will be my uh, work offset for x-axis I do the same thing for y-axis my tool is already selected the work coordinate system is there I, all I had to do is change the direction and you can see it here then I have to change I have to just jog it and see I, I scratched my tool now so then I have to hit soft key called set work offset it took that value and the tool data and that's my work um, offset for Y axis then I go for Z axis similarly we, it selected tool work on system it took a tool data all I have to do is scratch my tool on Z axis so I jog and see that's my that's where my tool scratches workpiece all I hit is a set work offset and then if I go back that and I go for go for um, offset parameter screen you can see our uh, G56 values change after scratching the tool and that will be my new G56 so I can use the G56 and new work order system in our program and that's how you set the work coordinate system. Thanks a lot for watching video.